and this is back in November 1979. At that time, um, I was a, a, a new geologist who had just been hired by the university. The uh, HVO staff were shorthanded, so the other geologists and I would come up and help them out. And uh, we were lucky enough that they called us on that particular morning. Early, we shot up here, and I began filming the uh, the eruption. Which at that when we first got here, there was a fountain over in the far corner of the crater, and that's what we were watching was that beautiful fountain. And then after we were watching it and filming it for a while, it began to fill in this produces lava lake. And it began to then ooze down into the lower part of the crater. And then, all of a sudden, began to come across the floor. The cracked lava was coming out. And then the crack began to come up the side of the crater. And we were just slightly downhill of where it was coming up. We thought, that's really not a good place to be. So we grabbed the camera, folded up the tripod, and we're running up this road. And as we're coming up the road, the road was opening up. We leafed, it wasn't a huge crack, but we leaped across a crack maybe this big and ran up here. And just moments later, it started opening up in this crack. This crack opened up and lava started coming out. And that's what built the ramparts. It was a lava that was squirting out of this crack and a beautiful curtain of fire all along this crack. And as the lava began to heat the ground, and break down the vegetation, it produced methane, which started exploding around us, which made it even more exciting. So it was one heck of a day. And dangerous. We weren't thinking in terms of, of dangerous because we were scientists and they have a stupid side when it comes to danger. It was very exciting.